Whether you are already a coach with clients and you want to expand your coaching business by finding more clients online, or even if you haven't started coaching anybody yet, but you would like to start finding clients online and start your own coaching business, how exactly do you promote find people and sell your coaching services online to those people. If you are looking for the answer to that question, then you are in the right place, so please do not go anywhere. Now, as with pretty much all of my videos, I like to give my audience something related and extra that is going to help them with achieving their goals. So just before we dive into this video, I am offering you my free downloadable online business guide. This is something that I created for anybody who is looking to start earning money online, but they are stuck with information overload and simply put, do not know where or even how to begin. It's a step-by-step -step guide that will teach you about the best online business models, which one you should start building based upon your own personality and circumstances, and finally the steps to take in order to start building it starting from scratch. It has helped thousands of my students worldwide start their own online business and I am now offering it to you completely free to help you build your very own online business. The link for that will be down in the description box down below as well as somewhere on the screen right now if you are interested, so please feel free to check it out. So moving on, what steps do you need to take in order to build or expand your own coaching business online? Step number one, very short, but it's very important. Before you start anything, you need to always be yourself, okay? In a world where almost everything seems to be fake or altered to look or sound better, you should always be yourself. It's not going to help you by pretending to be somebody else in order to attract coaching clients based upon what you think you need to be or what you think they want you to be. Always keep that in mind and never try to be something that you're not. The right people who really do need your help and really want to work with you will be drawn to you as long as you are real with them. People love and they appreciate authenticity. So always be yourself. The second step in the process is to know the wants and needs of your ideal coaching client. What are the their biggest pain points and how can you help them to solve their problems in order to get them the results that they're after. Now this is very important because it will create the foundation for you to build your marketing content around, which merges into the following step, step number three. But before we get there, if you are not sure about what your ideal client's biggest pain points are, then it's time to figure this out, which is quite easy regardless of which niche or profession you are in. You need to think for a moment like your clients or customers would, and what would they be asking Google or YouTube right now if they are brand new to your niche and they want to learn more. What would the five most popular questions or topics be? So I'll use myself as an example. I am inside of the online business niche and I know through many hundreds of conversations that I've had with strangers and students and clients of mine over the years that some of the most popular questions are, how can I start making money online? What type of online business can I start? How much does it cost to start an online business? Uh, what are the most important things for any online business owner to know? There are obviously so many more, but those off the top of my head are just a few of the most popular questions that I can think of that people always ask me over and over and over again. So it's your job to know what the most popular questions are inside of your profession or your niche. Now, if you are already coaching people, you'll already have some form of idea of what the most common questions or problems are for your clients. If you are not not coaching people currently, simply think about your niche, think about yourself as a beginner, and think about what you would type into Google or YouTube, or think about what people who are interested in your niche would be typing into Google or into YouTube. And once you have a list of, I'd say, at least five common questions or problems that people need help with inside of your area of expertise, we now move on to stage three, which is to start creating organic content on either YouTube or Google related to those questions and helping people to solve them. This is now where the real work begins, because regardless of your niche, there are millions upon millions, maybe even billions of people searching for help every single day online. And it's your job to create content that is going to pop up whenever they search for the answers and help them to solve their specific problems. Think about this exact video that I'm filming right now. I have created this video specifically to help coaches or people who want to become a coach inside of any niche to take their business online and start finding more clients online. So the idea being that anybody who is interested in this particular problem, they come onto Google or they come onto YouTube, they type in their question, they find this video which addresses their question and they get nothing but free and valuable information from me. No product pitches, no sales pitches, just free and valuable information that helps them to solve a specific problem. This is exactly what you want to be doing inside of your niche. Now the reason I only say Google or YouTube is because 
because most of the time, nearly all of the time, people do not go onto Facebook or onto Instagram or TikTok for answers. Those are social platforms for people to watch other people live their lives and do stupid dances, okay? It's not a place where you can upload searchable content. Now, sure, you can upload your videos onto those platforms, but it disappears in your followers' feed after, I'd say, a day or two or maybe even three, and if you're making stories on those sorts of places, they vanish after only 24 hours. Whereas if you create a YouTube video or a blog or an article, those sit up on Google and YouTube indefinitely, forever, and they are searchable. People are actively searching for them in order to help them solve their problems. Nobody would find my profile on Facebook or on Instagram and then type into a search bar somewhere, how can I find coaching clients online or start an online coaching business? Nobody would do that. Now, I am not saying that you cannot use your Facebook or Instagram account entirely. They do have a place, maybe show some of your results off or maybe some of your lifestyle stuff, but your main focus should always be on creating helpful, free, organic content that is searchable. And by searchable, I mean put it onto either Google or YouTube. I personally think YouTube is the best because video for me and for the people that I work with is a much more personal way to connect with somebody compared to reading or sorry i should say writing a blog or an article for them to read however they both work head and shoulders above anything else currently in terms of organic content marketing so now we move on to step number four which is also intertwined into step number three inside of your content that you are now creating and giving away for free you also need to offer your audience something else that is related to your video topic or your article topic it's also free it's very helpful in exchange for their email address. If you only take one thing away from this entire video, it needs to be this. Start collecting your leads email addresses. Any online business, and I mean any online business, the most valuable asset that they have is their email list. And the reason for that is quite simple, because you own it. Nobody can take it away from you. You can have 1 million subscribers on YouTube. You can have 1 million friends on Facebook. You could have 5 million TikTok friends or followers or however that works. What would you do if those platforms disappeared tomorrow? I tell you what you'd be doing, you'd be having to start all over again from zero. But if you have their email addresses, nobody is taking that away from you. It is yours forever. And on top of this, email marketing is still the most profitable way to sell your products or services online. Nothing else even comes remotely close. And if you were paying attention in the beginning of this video, you will remember that I offered you my free downloadable online business guide. And I'll be doing the same thing again towards the end of this video. And you know why? Because I want to be able to offer you even more valuable free content and I want to cut out the middleman. And with your email address, I can contact you directly. I don't need YouTube. I don't need Facebook. Facebook, I don't need Instagram, I can contact you directly with no middleman in between us. And you should be doing the exact same thing inside of your videos or your articles. It's called a lead magnet, by the way. So when you offer somebody something in exchange for their email address, it's often called a lead magnet. And your lead magnet can be several different things. It can be a downloadable guide. It can be a free mini course. It could be a webinar. It could be a quiz. There are many different things that you can offer your audience as a lead magnet. The trick is that it has to be one, desirable so they have to want it and two it has to be related to the topic of your content meaning I for example offered you a downloadable online business guide that will help you to choose start and build your very own online business it's related to the content that I create on this channel and it is desirable to a lot of my viewers as they are usually new and they're stuck and they want to know how they can start earning money online if I offered you for example a quiz about fixing cars it wouldn't compute it doesn't make any sense nobody watching my content would want that so you need to make sure that your lead magnet is irresistible to your audience it will help them even more than the original piece of content that they are consuming and is obviously related to your niche and the final piece of the puzzle once you've done all that the final step is to now run those email leads through an automated email sequence now what is an automated email sequence this is a series of emails that are sent to your leads email address after they download your free lead magnet that delivers to them even more valuable content and offers them more help in the form of your coaching and your guidance. And it does all of this automatically. So email one, you would deliver the free lead magnet that you promised them in the video or the article. Email two could be an extra guide or a video or article that is related to the lead magnet. Again, this is also completely free. Then the third email could be you now mentioning, for example, a client that you have recently coached and the results that you have helped them to achieve. Also asking the person a question at the 
end of the email may be asking them what they are currently struggling with. And if they respond, you can begin a conversation about coaching and helping them solve their specific problem. If not, they can be sent a fourth email which explains to them how you help your current coaching clients and what it is that you could help them with. There are many different ways that you can create your own email sequence depending on the type of coaching and the help that you can offer people, but this is by far the best way to provide immense value to people who have already expressed an interest in your help, hence why they gave you their email address. It's an amazing way to capture a direct form of communication with people who have a potential of becoming a client of yours. And it might not happen right now, they might be on your email list for six months before they finally reach out to you. The trick is to offer your audience a lead magnet inside of your content and then send them through a series of emails that further help them and show them what it is that you offer inside of your paid coaching services. And finally, just continue to email your list. Now I recommend between two to three times a week, providing nothing but value in the form of new videos or new articles or just simple emails with the aim of helping them inside of your niche and starting conversations. And if you do all of these steps in order, over time and consistently, you will build a very successful online coaching business for yourself. Now again, if you have an idea in your head about starting your own online business, but you just don't know if it will work or you're overloaded with information and you want a simple step-by-step -step guide to figure out how to start your own online business starting from scratch, please feel free to download my online business guide, which will help you tremendously and it will help you to get the ball rolling. That is a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take care.